What's going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at ya with another Lords mobile video and today guys I'm on my solo trap, yes that's right guys going in for some more trapping action. Now the good thing about today's video is I'm not actually going to be focusing on trying to get people trapped by using the cheat bot. Today we're going to go back and we're going to take it back to basics, some basic good old Lords mobile trapping. So I saw this guy here farming some tiles um, next to him. He was burning tiles, joining dark nests and stuff, this Ski Koru Kusai guy. So I decided to pull over just to the left near a couple of castles he'd hit because one of them was smoking. Um, and I was hoping I could get in there and make him not realize that I wasn't there before. That was the plan anyway. Um, and it kind of went pretty well as far as getting their attention. You can see he's continually sending out marches. I don't think he saw me pull in, which is a really good thing. And he's carrying on farming. The good thing is this one he hit over here is still smoking, which means he probably should go over there and attack it again. Just like that. Beautiful. And I'm hoping he sends a march at me as well because I haven't been hit yet. I didn't have to wait long because here it comes. <laughs> so the initial test march from him, well, farming march is 200,000 tier 2 gladiators. Well, the solo trap will really enjoy it chomping down on those. And the milk and cookies are already ready to be served. So here comes the march and we're going to chomp down on that. You can see the second march he sent or the march he sent to the smoking castle is actually going a lot slower. So to me, I'm thinking, okay, he's just sent 200k tier 2 at that castle. Now it looks like he's sending some higher tier troops. Could potentially include his leader on that as well. And I'm expecting him to burn this castle now. Yeah, so he breaks through. So he's definitely thought, hey, I want my resources. That wall just stopped my tier 2. I'll go in with the higher tier troops. So I'm thinking he might do the same with me. He hasn't scouted me, so as far as he's concerned, I'm just another empty farming castle to farm resources from. And he's already sent these 200,000 tier 2 glads, so I'm expecting a higher tier troop march to start making its way over towards me. Um, and I was expecting that to happen when these get back to his turf, but that's not what happened. Here comes the higher tier march, mostly range tier 4, no leader unfortunately, so it's a tier 4 march. 250,000 again the trap will be very very thankful for those kills and for those delicious troops so as they make their way to their doom you can see he's sending now a farming march to the castle above me now at the moment for him it's just another day in lords mobile but i think things are going to start going up a notch once he loses <laughs> a bunch of tier 4 troops because i can assure you he doesn't want to lose those i'm going to switch into infantry foul to take this hit and there we go Nice and easy, back to the range wedge. Now that will definitely get his attention. Now while we're waiting for him to make his next move, I want to let you know that Damo the Trap is one of TWK's uh, members and is one of our traps in our guild. And he also came to this kingdom as well to visit Guild Sky, um, or SKI, or Ski. And uh, he also had a really interesting encounter. So if you want to check out what happened when Damo came over here and met these guys, go and check out his channel. I will definitely put a link in the description for you to go and check that out. because It's a pretty cool video that he put up the other day. So my plan was to come to the same kingdom and try and see if I can get a little bit of redemption. A little bit of more, you know, a fight back a little bit against these guys with some more trapping action. And at the moment, they seem to be taking the bait. I didn't have to wait too long. We'll jump forward a little bit here. Again, I'm waiting for this guy to march on me. He doesn't. I was checking his gear and I'm making sure I'm checking my surroundings as well because I don't want to get like caught, caught off guard. But look, did you see that? Someone just ported in right above me. It's Hayato0526 coming straight in with the march. I was about to change gear because it's walking quite slow, but then I checked the watchtower and it's all tier 2 and destroyers. I'm so glad I didn't change my gear for that because that would have gave me up straight away. Um, so it's just an initial test march, probably trying to get some kind of walk back or something. Um, because he can't be trying to test me because he didn't send tester marches after to, uh, you know, to see what front line I've got. I think he was just trying to get a walk back. Right now, I'm continuously hitting his gear because this guy is showing interest right now and I want to see if he switches gear. <laughs> oh no, did you see it? He's chosen cavalry of all the troop types to choose. He's uh, he's chosen cavalry. Okay. So, um, we should be expecting a cab blast. Now, right now, I'm expecting the march to start walking. 
but it doesn't walk straight away and I was starting to think, mm, is he baiting me now? Is he trying to make me think he's sending Cav and then he's sending something else? Are these other players to my right and left going to start marching with him and come in for a bit of the old, uh, bit of the old group, sp group snuggle as they say? But right now I'm just waiting, like it kept me waiting a bit, I will be honest. It's a bit strange to sit there in the actual gear and then just sit there and not march. Um, but eventually he did march, here it is. So he's coming in, he's got his leader in it, it's mostly tier 4 cav, tier 4 range and tier 4 range uh, infantry buffers. It's only tier 4 though, I'm not going to change the gear for it. We get the cap, it's milk and cookies for Hayato. And there we go guys, we've got ourselves our first ski uh, player in the prison, chomping down on juicy milk and delicious cookies. So, if we didn't have their attention before, we probably will have it now. I don't understand why the guy that lost the tier 4 on me though, didn't march on me. Like, he's talking in guild chat, obviously saying, hey, I just lost tier 4 here. I'm surprised they didn't, he didn't just come over and whack me to be honest with you, because I would have done if it was me. <laughs> if that happened to me and I was farming, I would have gone straight to that castle and hit it, and probably got capped in the process, but still. Okay, so the situation now is we've got ourselves a leader in the prison. These guys know something's up over here, there's, there's, there's something dodgy going on with this castle. You've got Mr. Champ over here just chilling on the forest, and uh, we're going to jump forward a little bit. So I didn't have to wait much longer for another march to come flying in and it wasn't the group attack I was expecting, it was this. I thought it was going to speed in really fast, that's why I jumped out of the watchtower straight away, but then I noticed it was going quite slow. It's actually 250,000 tier 5 range um, with a leader as well, tier 4 buffers too. I decided to do a very quick gear swap, one and back, very quickly. Hopefully I didn't get seen doing that. Um, but I just didn't want to take a big tier 5 march with the leader, like with range without any kind of, um, you know, without any kind of gear on. So, as it that turns out, he wasn't that ge overly geared, and I don't think he had uh, level 5 fams. So it wasn't overly bad overall. <laughs> it was only 308,000, which for a range blast of that much tier 5 was pretty weak. Um, his Helldrider did pop as you saw his leader walk back. Um, and that's a nice amount of tier 4 and tier 5 reds. Look at that, 25,000 tier 5 reds for that guy. So we caused him a nice amount of damage. And I know the trap is super, super thankful uh, for those. Um, unfortunately, we can't feed him milk and cookies because he escaped. The slippery bastard. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to continue. And hopefully we're going to get this group attack. You see, I'm starting to load up on resources now. Uh, because I'm expecting a group attack because they've hit us with a couple of marches. We've capped a couple of marches. Uh, I still haven't healed, um, although that's almost ready to go. I'm going to reduce that timer down a little bit, I think, just to get it down to the last few minutes so that if they come in and attack me, I can go ahead and heal up. Now, I waited for a good, I would say, 15 minutes. I sat there and waited at this point, and I'm not going to make you wait 15 minutes, so we're going to jump forward a little bit. A few minutes later. Okay, so I waited. Now look, <laughs> I'm not making excuses here, okay? I sort of am a little bit, but I'm definitely rusty. I mean, taking one hit at a time, fine, but as far as a group hit goes, your boy is a little bit rusty. I need to definitely pick up my skills because, you know, you, you don't do it for quite a while like I haven't done. You tend to get a bit rusty. The group attack is about to come in, guys. They decided to gangbang me. And here we go. So here come the marches. And I didn't think they were going to come as fast as they did. They really sped them up. And I'm like, shit. So I quickly healed. Well, slowly healed. I'm already on fire. I get my gear on. I've just taken the entire gangbang with my, without my gear on. I then go into this event because it's next to the infirm, which is really annoying. I go ahead and heal my troops. I come back to the main screen. I've still got two marches coming towards me. I quickly relocate out of here before they can send another until the guys that got walkbacks can come again at me. And I still cap two of them on the way out. Let's go. <laughs> so yes, they burned me. They did, and I was out of gear, uh, so my own fault. And I did not expect the level three speed boots to come flying in. Uh, like they did, uh, but anyway, let me show you the reports and show you what damage they done. Credit to them for getting me though, but I still capped two on the way out, so it's kind of like a win loss. But anyway, guys, check out the reports. Let's get it.
too bad. I didn't take too much damage. The uh, Sanctuary is full of tier 3 range, so my front line is completely healed when that comes out. Just lost about 500,000 tier 2, so the trap will be back in action very, very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed the, the action I got from these guys. It was hella fun, and again, kudos to them for getting a burn on me. But even the burns weren't bad, and the walkbacks were so small. Oh, my God. Leave a like, subscribe. The Worthy Trap will be back soon, guys, but until it's back, you know how this next bit goes. Stay safe, everyone, and of course, peace out.